Virtual colonoscopy is a method for screening for colon cancer or colon polyps using a CAT scanner, which is a special type of x-ray machine. So virtual colonoscopy is usually performed in the radiology department of a hospital or outpatient imaging center. Well, virtual colonoscopy has several advantages, including it's fast. It only takes about 10 minutes in the room. It, the scan itself only takes a few seconds, so it's definitely fast. It's safe. It does not require sedation like conventional colonoscopy. It has a lower perforation rate. It also has the advantage of always seeing the entire colon. So a regular colonoscopy, sometimes a colonoscopist can't maneuver the scope around the entire colon, but since this is a CAT scan, we can always see the entire colon. And also it has the advantages if we see the other organs in the abdomen and pelvis at the same time. So sometimes we're able to diagnose unsuspected conditions outside of the colon. There have been several multi-institutional trials comparing virtual colonoscopy with conventional colonoscopy, and they've shown that virtual colonoscopy is comparable to a conventional colonoscopy when we're trying to detect precancerous polyps or cancer one centimeter or larger. Polyps smaller than one centimeter sometimes can be a challenge to detect on virtual colonoscopy, but they do not have cancer. So we're really trying to detect lesions one centimeter or greater, and therefore it's a similar sensitivity to conventional colonoscopy. Virtual colonoscopy is really designed for average risk patients. So the American Cancer Society recommends screening for colon polyps and colon cancer at the age of 50 if you're an average risk patient. If you're a high risk patient, meaning you're having symptoms or you have a family history or other conditions, you may want to schedule a regular colonoscopy because there's a higher chance that you will have a polyp or a cancer at that time. So it's really designed for average risk patients above the age of 50 for screening. It's not meant for a patient who has symptoms. In order to do a virtual colonoscopy, patient still needs to have a bowel prep. So the day before the study, they have to have colon cleansing agents to completely clean the colon. Once they arrive in the radiology department, they'll be brought into the CAT scanning room where they'll meet the radiologist. So if I were there that day, you would meet me, put a small tube in the patient's rectum, and then we have a pump to distend the colon with carbon dioxide. And so what happens is the colon gets distended, then we do our CT examination, usually twice, the patient lying on their back and on their stomach or their side. Afterward, we remove the tube, patient gets up and goes to the bathroom, gets dressed, and feels back to normal. You're in the room for about 10 minutes. Uh, the entire exam, the scanning only takes a few seconds, and then you feel normal and go back to work. During the study, when we distend the colon, the patient is uncomfortable, and they basically feel gassy, because that's what's happening. The colon is distended with gas, but it shouldn't be painful. If it's painful, you need to let the radiologist know, because it may be that you have an obstruction there. We use a pump to insufflate the colon or to distend the colon. So the pump is very sensitive, and if there's a blockage, the pump will stop adding the air in. So it's a very safe procedure in that regard. But you'll feel uncomfortable and you'll feel gassy, but you should not feel pain. Since virtual colonoscopy is performed with a CT scanner, it is a type of x-ray so that there is some radiation involved. The amount of radiation you would get depends on many factors, including patient size, the type of scanner, and the type of protocols used. At Hopkins, we have the latest scanners, and we use low-dose protocols to minimize the radiation. Everybody gets radiation every day because there's radiation in the environment. With the low-dose protocols we use, it should be less radiation than a person would get with a background of radiation over a year in the environment. So it's very low dose and it's safe. And also remember, virtual colonoscopy is designed for patients over the age of 50. So we're not doing these in young children or premenopausal patients. When you make your appointment for a virtual colonoscopy, you'll speak with one of our coordinators and they will explain to you the prep that you need to do before you come for your test. We actually mail out a small kit to you with the instructions and everything you need, including a prescription for a bowel cleansing agent. So at home, the day before, you'll take these bowel cleansing agents to make sure your colon is clean. When you arrive and are taken into the CAT scanning room, you'll meet a radiologist who will place a small flexible tube in your rectum and distend the colon with carbon dioxide, which is a gas that helps us see inside the colon. Then you'll have your CAT scan. 
with you lying on your back and on your stomach or your side if it's more care, uh, comfortable. It will only take a few minutes for your exam. Then you'll get up, you'll get dressed, and you'll feel back to normal. What happens then is the images that we took are transferred to a workstation and a radiologist who specialized in virtual colonoscopy will interpret the images using special software that lets us travel through the colon. So it's 3D software that lets us see inside the colon. Virtual colonoscopy has some risk and limitation. The risks include there is a small dose of radiation, which we discussed before. Besides that risk, there is a small risk of perforation, and perforation means a small tear in the colon that can occur when we distend the colon. The chance of perforating the colon is very, very small in a virtual colonoscopy, especially compared to conventional colonoscopy. And we use a special pump to distend the colon, which will shut off if we add too much air. So it's a very small theoretical risk. The other limitation of virtual colonoscopy is it's a virtual camera. We're not actually inside the colon, so if we find a polyp, we can't remove it. So if we find a polyp one centimeter or greater, we're going to send you to a regular colonoscopy to have the polyp removed. But you have to remember, most patients who are healthy over the age of 50 won't have a polyp of that size. So really, it's unlikely we're going to find something significant that would require a conventional colonoscopy. Virtual colonoscopy is safe, and it is approved by the American Cancer Society as a potential screening study for average risk patients above the age of 50. It's also very safe because there's no sedation required. So conventional colonoscopy requires that the patient be sedated, which means they have IV medication and they need monitoring before and after the study. So it's very safe, especially for older patients with heart and lung disease who would have a higher risk of being sedated. So it's safe. Uh, small risk of perforation, no sedation, fast study, and low-dose radiation. Virtual colonoscopy is less expensive than regular colonoscopy because it doesn't require sedation. With a regular colonoscopy, you're going to be getting IV medication and you're going to need monitoring before and after, and that tends to be expensive, especially if an anesthesiologist is involved. Also, with a regular colonoscopy, you wouldn't be able to drive home or go to work because of the sedation. With virtual colonoscopy, you totally eliminate the need for sedation, and you don't need somebody to drive you home. After a few minutes, you'll feel back to normal. Whether or not your insurance covers it depends on what state you live in. You'll have to check. In some states, the insurance will cover it for screening. In some states, they will only cover it if you've had a failed colonoscopy or can't have a regular colonoscopy. Maybe you have a bleeding disorder or you're on certain medications. So there's a website called VC, virtual colonoscopy, vcreimbursement.com, and you can check there to see if your insurers in your state will pay for virtual colonoscopy.